or back to bicycle. Uh, burn them? You can't do that, my friends. If you were to do so, what would I have to sell? That would... well... fine. As you wish. How about this? I can take a small sample of all three. I'll take a bit of a loss. Uh, we'll count it as a friendly gesture. Don't worry. I know the rules. As long as we can prove that it is good jade, you will not take a loss. All right. Take these as samples. I've carved them off with a knife and tagged them to boot. Aren't these too thin? Even paper's thicker. No, even a bug's wings are thicker. These are almost see-through. Stingy? I've already been very generous. Any more and you may as well have my neck. But wouldn't something this thin go poof if we held it to the fire? It can't be helped. Try... What sort of conditions? While we add the high temperatures using pyro, we can use hydro to reinforce it from within. Oh! Oh, sir, to think you were this learned. Thank you for your understanding. Strictly speaking, asking for samples when we have not yet agreed to purchase the goods is unfair. Well, guess we just need to find a place to try this out. Oh, Paima remembers. We once saw this. Now, let's pack those samples up and make them... Hey! <laughs> it has been a long time since I last set foot in the Nation of Wind. A friend of mine from Mondstadt would always bring a few bottles of locally brewed dandelion wine whenever he came to visit me in Liuat. It must be said that the famed liquor of the land of Pastorals is far better than Sumeru's frigid snake wine. That's the pot! <sighs> it looks like the hilly trolls are still using it. It's a bit impolite, but we gotta cut the line! Motion to compel! We're ready to go! Pop, use Pyro to keep making the pot hotter until we get the results we need! Mr. Zhongli said that the shinier and bluer the ore gets, the better it is, so pay close attention! Motion to compel! Whoa! That light came from the first Noctilucus Jade! Uh, Hilly Trolls are surrounding us again! Were they attracted by the light? Such nosy neighbors! Let's take care of them and continue again after! An invisible other- Boom boom!
My friends, I've kept the goods for you. Huh? No, it wasn't that one. Paimon remembers that it wasn't very bright. Think of it, huh? Exactly! No problem. If you have... Then we'll take a box of the third type of jade. Done. All the same, uh, and pardon me for asking, but I'm curious. Whatever do you need this much top quality Noctilucus jade for? Hmm... I suppose it would not hurt to tell you. We're parting? Oh, dear. I I'd heard the rumors, but had given much thought to them. This... This means that Rex Lapis really is... Oh, it's hard to believe. Even though the Jade Mystery has been in decline, we have always been under his protection. It is said that when our lord lost his way while going incognito in the city 200 years ago, it was a spoon from the Jade Mystery that he had used to sample the local delights. Alas, alas, all things must pass. <sighs> well, if this is to be used to say farewell to Rex Lapis, then I shall sell this to you at half the price. Are you sure? You didn't want to even give us an inch before. If not for our Lord's protection, this city... Oh, I'm sure Rex Lapis will feel your sentiment, boss. In the safe hands of the Liu Achising and good honest... All right. Thank you, my friends. What's with me getting all sentimental like this? I'll practically be giving away all my fortune at this rate. Now that we've made our choice, let's take this Noctilucus Jade back. Hey, wait a minute. He said it was half price, not that we could leave without paying. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I must have forgotten to do that, too. Let me see. As I thought, I didn't bring any. Any what? Mora. My apologies. Another oversight on my part. Oh, that won't do. This isn't some sm- <sighs> That's a relief. Have a look. It's fine. Just enough for half price. Well, it's settled then. Let's take this jade to Yujing Terrace. That's where we plan to hold the right. Look at you bossing everyone around. You didn't cough up a single Mora. <laughs> I will do my best. You have my thanks. Don't blink. Feel New stock at Zigo Antiques. Bad news for my purse. We can leave the jade here. I have already called for a jewelsmith to shape them into the implements that we will need. Ah, yes. I have yet to go and see child. So, as for the jewelsmith's remuneration... Guess we can't do anything else. Also, is this where we're doing the rite of parting? Yes. I have already rented this location, and have begun making preparations for the rite. That's right. 
The Liu at Qixing have acquiesced to using the same location. But when something this big happened here, should suspects like us really be at the crime scene? We might get caught by the Millilith. Although with that said, since we got back from Dwayun Karst, none of those pesky Millilith soldiers have come chasing after us. Also, the... uh... Rex Lapis Vessel. Traditionally, we call it the Exuvia. Ah, oh, right! That's what it- One must think that they already have someone in mind. Or perhaps they already know. Surely they must have found all the evidence that there is to find here. These things are for the authorities in Yujing Terrace to consider. Before the rite is conducted, the Exuvia will be kept temporarily in the Golden House. Golden House? The only mint in Liu, which is to say the only mint into that. All the m Wow! Oh, no! Paimon wasn't thinking about anything bad. Paimon thinks it suits Morax. But why do you know this, Mr. Zhongli? Since the rite of parting has the approval of the Qixing, it is a semi-official event. Uh, perhaps each has their motives. But this is the capital of commerce. A little exploitation once in a while is not unacceptable. In Liu, where the god of contracts reigns, only contracts may not be betrayed. I for one have no issue with little maneuvers outside their remit. Well then, we should go and prepare the perfumes used in the rite. Perfumes? Where will we get those? No. Perfumes used to honor the gods must be freshly decocted. Silk flower petals contain a fibrous material of good quality, often used in brocade making. Its scent, however, is most elegant. And it it's time for Zhang Li's lectures on high society again. <laughs> we shall not speak of the details right now. Follow me. We shall go to the merchants to purchase our ingredients. Can't be the atmosphere here. Hey, boss, do you sell silk flowers here? Silk flowers? We certainly do. Which kind would you like? Which kind? The, uh, the good kind? The best? Ugh, you ignorant shoppers. Always coming in here with your stupid questions. Golden House Maiden, Valley Weaver, and Fate's Yearning. One of each to start with, if you don't mind. My goodness, this gentleman is quite the connoisseur. You two must be his servants. Uh, please refrain from any further attempts to contribute. Now then... Please peruse at your leisure. Do let me know if you have any further thoughts. Silk flowers exhibit different properties based on how their environmental conditions differ from their ancestral habitat. Just look at the abundant foliage here. And these stamens, glamorous as a maiden of the Golden House. This strain is an evergreen and mostly grows under complex hydrological conditions. By contrast, this variety thrives in any dark, damp location, often in large clusters. Morphologically, it is distinguished by the profusion of petals. Lastly, this strain is quite the recluse. Unlike its exuberant cousins, flowers and foliage are minimal, and when in season, it has a subtle yet enduring scent. It was Silk flowers have all but disappeared from the wild today due to geographical changes over Liu's history. Most are not grown by horticulturalists. Wow! A true connoisseur! Most of that was news even to me! I possess but a smattering of trivial knowledge. My traveler friend is the one to watch. They are on track to set foot in every corner of the world. Oh, Mr. Zhongli, you're way too humble. So which... I'll take them all, boss. 
Again? How can I put this? When purchasing opera tickets, it is natural to decide based on which singer has the most melodious voice. But this silk flower purchase is not an analogous case. The same logic does not apply. Perhaps you don't know. Like several other tedious and complicated traditions, but this is the only rite of parting to take place for one of the seven in 3,700 years. As now that's settled, a question. <clears throat> Do you have any mora on you? You forgot to bring money again? <sighs> Zhong Li? Uh, if I may interject, did I hear you say that these flowers are to be an offering to the Lord of Geo himself? Yes, in a sense. Gosh, well, why didn't you say so? I heard the awful news about what happened at this year's Rite of Dissension. It would be bad luck to say it out loud, but I've been worried about our dear Lord ever since. Since these flowers will be- Are you serious? Why wouldn't I be if he hadn't written those poems in praise of my wares? Huh. So much folklore here revolves around Liyue's deity making cameo appearances. Thank you, boss. I think I speak f Our skins? You were the one who forgot to bring money! Please, it's the least I could do. 